Hey YouTube, it's your girl Hippie Chick. I was Tiny Empress, just switched over. It is still me in the flesh. <laughs> this reading is going to be for my Pisces. Um, let's sage and protect the deck for sure. I don't know about you guys. I've definitely been receiving a lot of hate. It's been covert and undercover. Um, and also to people, it will be people you least expect. And when that happens, I always ask spirit, Buddha, whoever you believe in. I don't really discriminate. I kind of believe in everything. I believe in God. I believe in Buddha. I believe in Allah. Like I just, they're all, they're all doing it. But this video, this is, channel is not about religion but um whoever you believe in pray to them and ask them to reveal your haters and or stalkers like and they will and i mean some a lot of times it'll come to you in your dreams but be mindful be mindful because sometimes it's who you least expect i know if you're a pisces like me you get hated on all day long so i'm um, sending protection vibes to you guys right now as we speak straight up <laughs> all right spirit what do you have for my pisces and the recent past please leave my energy out of it Ooh, we have some fly out okay so you i get are coming up as the nine of cups you are in your power you are in your element you are beautiful, happy, calm, cool, and collected all on your own. You are pouring into yourself. This is a great card of self-love. It is also a card of wish fulfillment. I'll point this down so you guys can see the cards too. Um, but either way, this is like total happiness and fulfillment all on your own. This is not, you're not with somebody. You could be with somebody and experiencing this energy, but this is like total happiness, solo, dolo, baby, right? Because the person you're dealing with came up in the reverse as the King of Cups. Normally this would be great, but since it's in the reverse, I get that they're maybe emotionally manipulative, possibly just drinking from their own cup, only pouring into their own self. You see he's drinking from his own cup, which is fine as long as, you know, it's in moderation. But I get that, I get that this person is, person is emotionally manipulative, and that is what caused you to feel like you're being treated unfairly with the justice in reverse and instead of like totally going grim reaper on their ass i feel like you're just in this four of swords energy where you are trying to heal you're thinking you're pensive you're you know, maybe this is the last nail you need to put in the coffin, but I see a couple more out there. So you're not totally done with this person, but I feel like you are trying to go within and meditate on this connection. Is this what I want? Is this what I should be doing? What's up? Right. But unfortunately this came out in the reverse. And though I do get those vibes, I also get that you're having a hard time healing period from this situation. You just are. Um, but you're still in your power with the Nine of Cups, so there is hope. Spirit, what do you have for my Pisces in the present? What do you have for my Pisces in the present? So right off the bat, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Spirit, what do you have for my Pisces in the present? What do you have for my Pisces in the present? Oh, and just so you guys know, I read intuitively. Sometimes I'll read reversals, sometimes not. It just feels if I'm, like, feeling that that's what's going on. So, just a heads up. Spirit, what do you have for my Pisces in the present? So, three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, you've been watering this situation for a while. And so I'm getting that this person is coming up. So this person's selfish. I'm just getting selfish vibes. Emotionally manipulative with the King of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles came out in reverse. And I'm feeling like this is their energy. I feel that 
Typically, this would be a beautiful card. This is a person who's abundant, self-sufficient, financially stable. They're grounded. They're Gucci, right? But it was in reverse, and that to me means a few things. Either this person is pretending to be Nine of Pentacles, stable, grounded, Gucci, uh, financially abundant, right? Or just abundant in general. I feel like they're either pretending to be that way, and you found out that they're not, or... Um, this person is very selfish. Maybe they are all of those things, but they're keeping it to themselves instead of sharing it with their partner, you, um, which is what you do when you're in partnerships or relationships, or maybe this is a friend. I don't know if it's your family member. I don't know what's going on, but they're, I'm getting that they're being selfish. That's what I really feel. Um, they're keeping all their riches to themselves. That's not like... I'm not saying they should be spending every dollar they have on you. I mean, some relationships are like that, some aren't. But I'm just saying that they're just being selfish. Like, there should be a certain level of giving and receiving, and that's not going on. Right? And we also have the Ten of Swords. And I love in this deck that you have the butterfly, right? So it's like, it can be a transformative energy. It often is. The Tens go to Ones typically. Um, so this, you know, but this, the Ten of Swords and the Rider Waite deck is someone being stabbed in the back with Ten Swords. Like, it's not a good vibe. They are so betrayed, so hurt, in pain. And I feel like, I feel like you're moving out of this energy because it came up in the reverse. So, like, you're seeing this person is selfish. You're in your power. So if you're in your power, that means that... Like, as the Nine of Cups, you're intuitive. You're intuitive anyway because you're Pisces. But, yeah, you're seeing that they're selfish. And it's like you're getting the vibe like you should move on. And it's making you, instead of being in this, like, in your element, you're switching over to the King of Swords vibe. Where you're like, this is what I want at all costs. Give it to me or I'll cut you. I have a machete. I'm not playing. <laughs> like, Pisces has to do this, man. Pisces, we c we'll be so nice all day long. You typically, we're the queen of cups where we're just pouring everything into the other person, never expecting anything in return. Lovely if it does come back. But, like, we just are selfless. We're lovers. We love to love. We do. I don't care what any Pisces tells you, more than any drug or any addiction that Pisces might have, because Pisces rules addictions, we also, like, the biggest love that Pisces will, the biggest addiction that Pisces will ever have is love. Period. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, you're not able to be in your energy. You're not able to be in your element because this person is being selfish and you're having to be like, this is what time it is. Like, hear me right now. And you better listen up real quick, fast, and in a hurry. The King of Swords is not playing. They're not necessarily being completely ruthless, cutthroat, manipulative, but they know what they want, and they're going to get it. And if you can't do that, then sorry. Like, not sorry, actually, at all. <laughs> at all. Spirit, what do you have for my Pisces in the future? What do you have for my Pisces in the future? Totally. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. What did I just say? Instead of being the Queen of Cups upright where you're giving selflessly, not expecting anything back, giving... she The Queen of Cups gives all her cups away, usually. Or she's offering her cup, right? It's a big cup, too. It's not some little shot glass. Like, this is a goblet. This is, like, a lot. And this is in reverse, though. You're not giving this to this person anymore. You made the head-over-heart decision with the King of Swords energy that is not... No. Like, you're just not... You're not willing to do that. And that's because maybe a big truth came out about this person. Maybe the truth was that they are selfish and manipulative and, you know, because we had the Nine of Pentacles energy in reverse where 
Or maybe, like, the truth that came out was that they were, like, hiding who they really are, hiding that they're not actually grounded and stable at all, and it's making a, for a faulty foundation for this relationship because they couldn't just be honest with you, but now you're, like, you're being honest with them regardless of what's going on, and you're serving up the truth. And that's why this Wheel of Fortune came out. And I feel like you are the one in white on top, right? The wheel's turning in your favor. And they're the person in black. And the wheel might crush them on the way down. I don't know. But, like, it's not really about that. But it's just, like, it's it's you've put out a lot of good karma. You're Pisces, so of course you have. And it's time for you to get credit. And not even get credit, but get treated how you deserve to be treated. And that's what's happening. And this person, maybe their karma is just that they don't get to be with a beautiful person like you. I'm sorry, but Pisces are beautiful. Unless they're in their shadow energy, like, there ain't no love like a Pisces love. Period. There's not. And they're feeling that now. They are. So this is them getting their karma. So, hey, you know, it's all good though, Pisces. Because now... Instead of giving them everything, you're deciding, no, I'm not giving it to you. What I am going to do is give it to myself, though. And you're going to drink from your own cup like they were. Right? Hell yeah, Pisces. That's what I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Love you, mermaids. Bye.